I've put 200 k on these bib shorts. Are they worth a purchase? If you're cycling on a shoestring, strap yourself in for this review. Hi, it's John and welcome to Cycling on a Shoestring. Great to have you here. And before we get to our review of the Sook Sports bib shorts, I want to tell you about the record I've got up here. I'm showing you one of my favorite albums down here in my studio in the basement. It's a space and time from 10 years after. Here they come, once there was a time, and of course the one you may know the most, I'd love to change the world. Great album. Now today we're going to talk about a pair of bib shorts from Sook Sports and I've done a couple of videos from Sook Sports. They sent these to me for free so I'm doing a review here but I'm going to give you my honest opinion about these shorts and there's a lot of good stuff to say about these shorts. Recently I gave these things a lot of rides and put a lot of K's on these shorts. I started off uh, with this ride right here. I call this Ride South, just down towards the south part of Calgary, 38.1 kilometers. Took me an hour and 28 minutes on this ride right here. And then I did what's called the South Loop, which is a loop around pretty much the south part of Calgary. I added on another 60K here, which took me two hours and 13 minutes. So I'm up to 90K. And then over here, this is an annual ride I do. I call it the Road to Nepal. Actually, it's this uh, little section down here to the southwest of Calgary, which is the road to Nepal, which is about 50K. I add on another 57K, 107.7 kilometers, four hours and 14 minutes. So just shy of 200 kilometers on these Souk Sports bib shorts. I want to take a look at them from two different standpoints. I want to take a look at them from the bottom half, so basically the short section. Then I want to take a look at them from the top half, the straps that go over your shoulders. And I want to make a direct comparison between these shorts from Sook Sports and there are other shorts that I reviewed recently. There are differences, and I think I can help Sook Sports a little bit when it comes to designing their other shorts while I'm doing this review. So let's take a close up look at these from the bottom half. We'll take a look at the chamois on the inside, which is similar to their other shorts, and then we'll take a look at something I think they could improve as well, but for a cost of $55 Canadian, $42 American, I think there's some pretty good value in these shorts. So let's take a close look. I'm going to do this video a little different. Generally, I start on the outsides of the shorts, then I work to the insides. We're gonna start with the chamois this time, and there's a reason for me doing that. And I often say the chamois is the heart of any pair of cycling shorts. And I was thinking before I did this video how lucky we are, how spoiled we are today when it comes to chamois. Because I think when I first started riding, my first pair of shorts actually had a chamois in them, which is an animal skin. And I've had all kinds of different materials in my shorts over the years. And they just seem to be getting better, even on you know more budget conscious types of shorts and bib shorts like these ones. And this chamois is fine. I felt real comfortable throughout my ride on these. Thicker back here where you've got your sit bones. You can see how thick that is. Plenty of padding there. Not an uncomfortable thickness if you're not on your bike. Sometimes it can feel a little weird in cycling shorts. Not that at all. You've got different thicknesses throughout these shorts when it comes to your perineum, which is right underneath. And then as you move up towards the tip of your saddle, you've got some different thicknesses in there. And then on the outside as well, just a, a very thin type of uh, foam material here, but very, very comfortable. I have no problems with the chamois in this. They were very comfortable. Now, as far as the stitching goes, I've mentioned in other videos, I've had higher end shorts from really big brand names where they've torn apart at the stitching here. You've got zigzag stitching all around the outside of this. I don't think you're gonna have any issues with these coming apart. And I think durability will be just fine. Of course, time will tell, but I think that these are gonna be great over the long run. Now I'm gonna switch them back to the outside. We're gonna take a look at these shorts. I've got a, a couple of concerns with these, not big ones, but we're gonna lead into another section of this video where I address something I think could be improved on these bib shorts. In this part of the video, I just want to focus on the bottom part of the short. We'll get to the straps in just a moment. Now, in these shorts, you've got spandex, polyester, nylon. The straps are a little bit different, which I'll tell you about in just a moment. And looking at the different panels, you can see that these two panels are certainly different than this one. Now, this panel here is more of a mesh-like material. Let me put my light in there, and you can kind of see the difference between this one 
and this part right here, which goes all the way from the cuff up to your waist. I think this is going to be nice and light and airy when it comes to the summertime. So if you're riding in hot temperatures, it might make you feel a little bit more comfortable. As far as the stitching goes, good quality stitching here. I don't think you're going to have any issues with these coming apart. You can see how solid it is in between the panels. And I mentioned when it came to the chamois, you've got that zigzag stitching right around here, which I don't think is going to come apart. Looking at the cuff on the left side, you've got the Sook logo. And I think you can almost see that it's reflective material uh, in these lights. On the back of the short, you've got some reflective material as well. So if you're somebody who does some commuting, you're out late at night, that'll help a little bit when you're out riding. And of course, you've got the panel that goes all the way up the back, up to here, change a little bit when you get up on the upper back, which I'll show you in just a moment. But overall, these look good. Now, I do have something to say about these shorts compared to, these are the bib shorts, compared to their regular shorts. The cuff on these, are superior to their regular shorts, which I, I think is fine. Uh, I reviewed those shorts and I found the cuff fine. But when I saw these, I said, hey Sook, put this cuff on your regular cycling shorts and you'll make them even better. This is doubled up. There's two different layers of material here. On the regular shorts, it's a single layer of material. So I would suggest putting this cuff on the other shorts and you've got a better gripper on the back. This gripper is fantastic. Now I did wear these mostly with leg warmers so they didn't slide, but I think these are gonna stay down on your leg and they're not gonna slide up because that's a good gripper on there. It feels really good. And again, I don't think that's gonna, you know, deteriorate over time. I think that's really going to last. So put this cuff on your regular shorts as well. Now, I want to show you something about this. This is the strap that comes on these shorts. Let's talk a little bit more about these. And let's look at them close up. Before I get directly to the straps, we do have the label on the back of these. And as you can see, it says XL here. When I bought their regular shorts, which I reviewed here on my channel, I got the wrong size. I thought I needed an XXL but XL fits me perfect, which is my regular size for cycling shorts. So if you're buying these shorts and these bib shorts, go with your regular sizing. I think you'll be fine. Or you can always follow along with the guide they have at the Sook Sports website, which I'll put in the description below. Now, as far as these straps go, this is why one thing about these shorts that I definitely would change if I were Sook Sports. And if you look here, it tells you what the shorts are made of and everything in the shorts. We've got different materials here, but the anti-slip belt, which is this right here, is made of elastomer, 48%, polyester 52%. It's very, very stretchy. And what I noticed with these uh, is that on bare skin, I find them a little bit too grippy because if you flip it over, it's almost a little bit tacky on this side. Not sticky, a little bit tacky. And I felt that it kind of gripped on my skin. It was kind of uncomfortable. I didn't like that all, all that much. I normally wear an undershirt. And I wore an undershirt for my first two rides with the straps over the undershirt. Never noticed it at all. They felt fine. This uh, stretchy material didn't pull on my shoulders. I never felt any undue pressure. But on my bare skin, on my third ride, which I wanted to try, I ended up putting my undershirt back on the bottom layer with the straps over the top because I didn't like that. So my suggestion to Sook Sports is this material right here is what you should use over the shoulders and to attach at the bottom of the short. This would feel much better. Put a nice wide strap on there. You don't have to worry about it being non-slip. When it goes over your shoulders, they're going to stay up. But this is what you want to use on this strap. Otherwise, I think they're just fine. If you're somebody who's wearing an undershirt all the time, these are well worth the price. Overall, how do I feel about the bib shorts from Sook Sports? Well, I like them. I think for $42 American, $55 Canadian, I mean, the price is just killer. It's a good price. I do have the reservations about the straps, which I told you about. But over my three rides on these shorts, 250K, I really didn't think much about them other than from a review purpose. And I felt very comfortable in them. And when you're on your bike, if you're concerned about what you're wearing and how you're feeling in your clothing, that's not a good thing. So these are a good value. They're excellent shorts, and I would highly recommend them if you're somebody who's a weekend warrior, you're somebody who's cycling on a shoestring budget, and somebody who's cycling with an undershirt, as I explained earlier. Thank you very much for watching. Now, if you go to the Sook Sports website and you purchase a pair of these shorts or you buy anything else there, I'll put the link to Sook Sports in the description below. 
you'll get 10% off if you put shoestring in the little box when you check out. So thanks again to Sook Sports for this. I think you've got a good product here and I appreciate it very much. Now, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, that'd be great as well. We're marching our way to 500 subscribers. Ring the bell as well for notifications. Hopefully I see you out on the road riding and thank you so much for watching Cycling on a Shoestring.